Alright my friends, what is going on? Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. Today we're doing lacrosse. In fact, for the last like three or four videos we've done lacrosse. Uh, we've had a little, little look at Frisbee. Frisbee is actually quite interesting and we're going to continue that too. But today is lacrosse. Rugby Player Reacts to lacrosse. Now, from what I've seen so far, it's definitely a mixture. It's a, it's a hybrid sport of you know, many sports actually. The, the thing that I enjoy the most is probably the sidestepping, it's the juking, it's the beating defenders one on one and that's what I enjoy about any sport. I mean basketball, football, rugby, AFL, ice hockey even. So I'm learning slowly but surely and today, today we actually have a quite, quite a lengthy video. It's Yale versus Virginia, the 2019 NCAA Lacrosse National Championship game. I don't know how these two teams actually got to that point. I assume after the game we should probably do a bit of research on that. But I don't want to see the final result. I want to react to this with you guys. And, um, well, there's nothing left to do but to do it. What I will say is that this little face-off, first thing I thought was it looks like two bulls um, going at it. Two rams, you know, going... Uh, then I thought, holy shit, that looks like a scrum in rugby. And then I thought, no, that looks like a restart in ice hockey. And then I thought, no, no, it's none of those. It's a hybrid. It's called lacrosse. So let's get into it, guys. And we're actually going to finally see what happens. What happens here? I feel like they both put their stick up against one another. And then the first one to sort of break away at the right angle may be the one that keeps the ball. But we're about to see our very first restart. Interesting. Interesting to say the least. It's almost like wrestling as well, isn't it? Oh! What a goal! There is one other thing I want to see. Lacrosse, the longest goal ever scored. In the first quarter, with outside shooting. Ball rotation, no one picks him up. A little giddy up for 18 and blue. Good luck stopping that. Their house defensively. Actually, the goalie is pretty pretty close to stopping that really five man box formation oh bro look at that fucking stadium front porch is a little too close to the goal the cage for you more against Weitzel now picked up by the shot ties it for Virginia vastly improved nice bit of footwork to get some distance a terrific double team they smother the help man and next thing you know they come up with a loose ball it's cage here we go, watch this. Gets himself a little bit of space. Watch how this pick changes. Oh, it's the screen. Fuck, we've got basketball plays here too. Wow, this really is a hybrid, isn't it? He called the screen from the power forward. The point guard. Bang! Gets past him. Turns around for the 180 shot. Straight in. There's a switch. Advantage. Matt Moore. Yeah! I like that. Jack in midfield works against the short stick Trevor. Herring. Finds Matt Moore. And Virginia with a 2 1 lead. And Moore has now tied the single season points record at Virginia. Legends. There's a new sheriff in town in terms of point production in a season. His name is Matt Moore. And he's got the count on the defending champ. On the ride. They love to ride these attackmen. They ride with their heart. That's Weitzel. Swirls around. Shot clock at five. More oh, than yeah. ever denied by the sophomore. Good player. save. Looking to feed the crease. Rhodey is well out of the cage. Knocks <laughs> the brand down. Empty net. And Yale capitalizes with Matt Gordon. Where was the goalie? 
come back to fight. Oh, there he is. Makes a check on the ball. The rule there is either. Damn, that's a bit dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> or you don't try it. That proved to be the wrong decision. I'll tell you what, guys. That rarely had 10 goals during championship weekend. Looks like the sword of the darkness. You could be a member of Bro, the where's the ball? Or as Carth likes to say, the Undertaker. <laughs> he established that. He likes the Undertaker better. <laughs> Yes! Oh, I thought that was, I thought it was going to be a goal. Flip a coin. Shoots and scores! Michael Krauss! Man, I can imagine if you've got a bit of speed in this game, if you've got some nice footwork, you can definitely get yourself open a lot, couldn't you? Especially in the, uh, you know, in the midfield. Not so much near the, not so much near the, uh, the goal box, I'm sure. You know, it'd be pretty, uh, be a lot of traffic in there. Bale can probably only guard one of them. And when you put a short stick on Michael Krauss, he is salivating and going to get to the rack. He uses leverage, strong load shooting angle ability. Okay, so some guys have short sticks, some guys have long sticks. I did, I did hear something about that in the previous video, actually. Is it defensive players have a long stick? They have to have at least four long sticks on the field. Cavaliers creating matchups. John Fox thundering downfield. Fox through the D. Whips. Oh. I thought he tried to hit him. I thought he tried to fucking backhand him with a stick. Player tried to slap shot there, but Star has it. Now the ride by Virginia. The big chick. He had to burn his spot of practice every week. Krause with a back shot to score. Two for Krause. Virginia has a 4 2 lead. Krause peels. See, it's interesting. I wonder, like, wonder what parts of this game the Fanatics really enjoy the most. I couldn't say. From the inside. How about that? Use the earth, the high bouncer. Virginia, super sharp here in Philadelphia. There comes Brenda coming off the seven goal game. His shot saved by Road. And Road claps down on the loose ball rebound. Bang. <laughs> Bang again. Go, son. Oh, gets a fucking stick in the back for your trouble. He gets the short stick open. Aiken from out of steam. Turns back. Left hand. See, that wouldn't be easy, man. So he's gone and he's obviously right-handed. He'd much rather throw that way. He's turned around and thrown the other way. That's like being ambidextrous. That's impressive. Down the alley. Plants that foot aggressively. Gets back to the middle of the field. You see the... Mm, the spin move. The spin move at the right time could really open you up towards that goal. The footwork is definitely my favorite part. He's shooting out a hole. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Not shying away from this matchup. Lasala. Oh! Off the restart. No stage too big for the freshman. Whistle ready. Excellent rotation. The way he uses his body to shield off. Damn. Early. And then handling the ball while running full speed. We talked about it earlier. Don't label him the typical Fogo because he can stay on and make things happen. An excellent high school running back, strong lower body. I mean, he's got calves and quads, powerful. He was the lowest ranked member nice. of Virginia's class at the beginning of the season. Where do you think he stands now? Hmm. Second half face off, P.D. Lashala for Virginia against T.D. Erlinger. Wow, look at number six. What are they doing? Erlinger 
Williams, the first base off of the second. Yeah, beautiful restart, the gets the ball. Count out Yale, down four. Oh. Off that face off win, and Yale strikes. You see that coming. 30 seconds into the second half. Face off scrap, TD carries in and sees the trailer. It's a five on four delayed fast break. Dana jealous with the high heat. It's a big. Here comes Ty down the alley. Over to Brandon. Gaudet steps in the way. And just like that, it's 6 4. Bending, bending, bending. Will Virginia's defense. Wonder what, what would a good score be? Would it be 10? 10 in one game? Prior to the game. We talked about his range. Joey's been a finisher, but now he can stretch a defense. Starts with the wing dodge. They kick it behind the net. I'm sure it'd be similar to football, actually. You know, the, the lesser schools would get smashed, and the top schools would be pretty close. And then got into the first. I wonder what the highest point score in a game of lacrosse is. Two minutes for Yale. Two goals in a minute and nine seconds here in the third. And Erwin wins the face off, and this is what makes Splits Yale them. dangerous. Well, he had it. But secondary pressure, Virginia now. Come on! Sudden change for UVA. I was just about to say, yeah, play, make it, take it. The importance of ground balls. The winger's scrap. 22 in white, the best in the game. He causes the turnover, the scoop, the sprint, the celebrate. All his skills on display. And look who's at the face-off backs for Yale right now. It's the freshman Joe Newman. A little change-up. Back to X. Good look for Cross. A couple of quick ones by Eight, Yale. Four. Virginia answers. Come on, Yale. He's amongst the best in top. Where is Yale from? Here is Yale. CT. What's that? Connecticut. Connecticut. Let's have a look. Let's have a look where you are, mate. East, west, south, mid. Oh, we're by the water. That looks quite nice. Where on earth is that? That is... Oh, shit. Up above New York. Okay. And... Virginia. Is here. We're both on the east coast kind of because of his dodging ability and his lefty snipe virginia relentless riding out joey newman the freshman face-off guy well that gives this offense another opportunity matt moore's been mr assister all season long find the all-american michael grouse and with that assist matt moore has 80 that needs help with your yale's defense what is the slide come out more against the short stick Moore shoots, scores, the slide never came. And that's a hat trick for that Moore. I was going to say, another cool thing that a player would want is a hat trick, right? But, but you got to know that Matt Moore is going to be able to draw a double team here. Nobody goes. That communication starts in the So you get, that, you get that defender on your outside, or your inside, you do, you do a nice spin move. and Yeah, the spin move is definitely a killer for this game. It's got to be dispersed amongst the defensive players. Take that five, right? You talk to any coach in the And coach, engage! Big five, but I'll tell you what, it's the plays in the middle of the field and guys like... Oh, no, not again. Oh, here we go. Ah! Yale had a couple of quick strikes to get it to 6-4, and a 4 on Virginia blitz is followed. 1,000 in 11 for the Virginia Cavaliers. Damn. This kid's amazing. Ice in his veins, down the heart of the defense. Count it, Petey. Nice number, too. 23. Strong two-handed cradle. He does a great job of looking. So, okay, so hang on. So he's literally... Ice in his veins, down the heart of the defense. Count it, Petey. Okay, so the ball is actually facing backwards in the motion he brings it up turns it around at the top and then flings it back down strong two-handed cradle he does a great job of looking off the point and gets hit for his troubles too just 
Scoops it up. Five to shoot. Moore. Against Tevin. Moore. Shoots. Beautiful goal. The shot clock. Four goals for Matt Moore and Virginia's lead balloons to seven. Virginia playing fast. Scrambling. Watch the tail end of this shot. Able to get top side and find net. The defending champions in lacrosse. They got to 6 4. Bro, okay, let me get this straight. Early in this third quarter, Virginia has responded with 5-0-1. <laughs> like, still no idea. Oh, look at this footwork. Ba -ba bang spin round, back step. Where are you going? Harris. Jealous. Ah, gets checked away. If you cannot play without a stick, that's a procedure call. So Virginia ball, 14 turnovers for Yale. Two to for Yale. Fake. <laughs> That's when you want a long stick, isn't it? To keep it away from the the, uh, the defense. Wow, Andy Shea's not going to like that. And Virginia gets it back. Wow. Dangerous pass, nearly picked off. Oh! Hits the ground hard. I think I saw that hit in the previous video. <laughs> That's a clean hit because he's got... Both hands on the stick, and he doesn't go for the head. Tell ya, clean over to Rooney. No doubt that out there for you. I actually remember him saying clean in the previous video. Brand out. Inside wall. Oh! And scores at the horn. Now this is a reviewable play. You can review that the release of the shot at the end of the period. Russ will do that as long as the ball leaves the stick before the clock expires. That's a good shot. So the shot clock's 60 seconds, but that was the end of a quarter. And you wonder if this counts, and it looked like watching it real time that it did. Is this the type of momentum that... Eli's team that have averaged almost 20 goals per game in this tournament has been held in check. TD Erlando gives them a chance. He wins the face off. Erlando, Prince, shoot. Okay, so the ball actually goes down into a smaller pocket of the uh, net. And so when you bring it up like that, it gets it into that bigger part of the net. Then you bring it over and you fling it out. So you're actually, you, you, you probably, un until you're ready to pass or shoot you probably want to have it in that smaller part so that even when it's upside down if you go like that it's not going to fall out is that what i'm seeing here saved by road Aiken against Tevlin. he's played a lot of defense today Aiken. it looks like the goalie the only difference between i've just worked this out the only difference between a goalie and a normal player is the size of the net shoot and score which makes sense. Hmm. You dive to earn possession. What? You're working hard, not to spade, to ring the iron. And then you give the ball to your star, Don Sagan. And Yale, once again, mismanages a complete mismatch. I mean, how many times are Virginia but from a physical standpoint, this guy can shoot with tons of pressure on him. You can pound his bottom hand. He's still going to let it rip. It's like, okay, okay. There's people out there who are fanatical about hockey. Okay, field hockey. If you're going to line up a game of hockey versus a game of lacrosse, I would watch a game of lacrosse any day of the week. And I've watched many, many games of hockey. So there's a chance I could probably get into this game. Jealous down the alley. Actually, I only watch hockey in the Commonwealth Games or the Olympic Games because New Zealand's not bad. Shot the score. Brando, the lightning quick release. TD Erland was making take it. That reminds me. There's a guy from New Zealand who hit me up last week about watching lacrosse. And he told me that New Zealand have a national team and they're not bad. Maybe we should look that up. In the first quarter, he'll be tested from a stamina standpoint. If, if the offense gets their opportunities. You know Matt Brandau 
can make it count. Seven goals against Penn State in the semis. He Krause's shot saved by Stahl. <laughs> it's pretty barbaric, isn't he? He's like, The long sticks. Oh, we're at a short stick now. Get that leverage straight in the top corner. Starting with Jack Storm. He's made a couple of big saves. Oh, don't know about that. Off the grill. Jackson Morrill, his first point finding Cutler. That's a beautiful score, isn't it? Literally scraped the underside of the crossbar. Five and even eight minutes left. Looking for Connors. Connors has a trail check from behind. Huge ground ball. These scraps this game have been epic. Virginia less than six minutes from a championship. Kraus. Watch that spin move. Maneuvering around the crease. Kraus lost it. Hines scoops it. The Cavs need to make like one more play and they win this thing. Against Greco. Brandau shoots and scores. Yale to win it four. Whoa. 12-8. Got to do it against the most prolific freshman scorer in Yale lacrosse history. You saw him on the high crease on the last goal with the right hand. This time dodging. Better than the 2006 undefeated Virginia team. Next play mentality. Right now, all you're thinking about as a player. And Virginia wins the face-off. Against Austin. Ball up top. Good look. Time. Save. What a save. He's been nothing short of sensational this weekend. Yale still a man down. Brando. His pass. Beautiful interception. Who else? The pick. Feeding Laviano. Less than two minutes to go. Come on, score it. Score it. Winner nationally with the steal. The ground. Yo, clean interception. Face off play. That's a nice play. He's got a ton of assists this season as well. And then last week. Minute to go. Oh! Oh, yeah, we're getting desperate. Had the goalie out of the box. What a goal. What a way to finish. Degree of difficulty. Huge degree of difficulty. All the big guns had. Yeah. Today, except for Laviano, he gets in. Yeah. I will say that all of these guys look very, very similar in size. There's been no like outstanding, you know, crazy big, either fat or tall or even just really, really muscular or even really, really fast, to be honest. I don't know if that's just these teams or not, but I'm definitely going to have to look up like the biggest players or the fastest players, the longest shot, among other things. Ah, oh, well, they got one back. But Virginia has had this team of destiny all. Yep. Schwenk wins the face-off. <laughs> Time expires. A team of destiny indeed. Oh, it looks hot out there. Shot, Virginia. Okay, guys, that was a bit of fun. It was, uh, well, about 25 minutes long, that video. And any lacrosse fans that are here, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can, you know, at least have a look at rugby, because that's why I do these videos, because I want to bring rugby to the world. And, um, you know, I guess anyone watching this video, anyone that reads the title, Rugby Player Reacts, you don't know what rugby's like. I talk about different different things that I see in the game that I can relate to other sports that I've played, um, but you know, more so than than any other sport would be rugby. So anyone that does have an interest in rugby, please, you know, type it into YouTube. Go down that rabbit hole. Look up 
great players like Jonah Lomu and Daniel Carter and Richie McCaw and well I'm gonna throw Andrew Murdens in there because you know what Andrew Murdens was my childhood hero so with all that being said guys I hope you've had a fantastic day I hope you're having a fantastic festive season and if you're one of my amazing absolutely amazing subscribers I want to say thank you for being here I want to say you know there's plenty more videos to come this YouTube channel is fun it's fun I'm having fun I hope you guys are too that's what it's all about you can't be too serious in life because it won't get you anywhere it'll just make you a stress head and we don't want that so with that being said guys hit the like button if you've enjoyed yourself subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one peace out Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now.